What is going on, everybody? Thank you for choosing once again to join me. I will first say that I do not own any rights to any music or beats that you wear on this channel. I simply just love music. If it's not for you, you can click off and click back on someone else. I hope everybody is doing okay. Being blessed. Continue to stay fly and fly high. This is Oya Oya, way the tatted orca. I'm here to simply do my job. That's it. I'm so excited to continue on my journey of just helping those that need help as I continue to fight my own battles. Because they come every day, new levels, new devils. But I don't even worry about it. Vengeance is the Lord's. <laughs> Thank you, Holy Spirit, Heavenly Angels, Heavenly Father, and Heavenly Mother. I ask that you give me all that I need to give to the collective. I also ask that you move my energy out the way and give this to someone that may need to hear me speak. If you have joined my channel, it was for a reason. I like this beat. I just smoke and smell the secret. I just smoke and tell the secret. So somebody needs to speak to somebody. They still feeling like they need drugs to tell what's on their mind. Um, I will say, enter at your own risk. Um, drugs are not for everybody. I, I hate them. I have my own personal experience with what I dealt with. And I would simply say, the Holy Spirit feels back greater than any other high that you might be chasing. That's crazy because the first card that I got smoker's remorse. Somebody <laughs> this is a, somebody was smoking and they regret it. You might not be a smoker, but you started smoking. Or you smoked and you're like, oh my god, God's gonna hit me. No, you're okay. Just don't be smoking everything that's lace. Um, I got a, uh, I got a, um, it's the message when I was going through my stuff. I was inside of, uh, the jail, right? Clark County. Shout out to the chicks in Clark County. I was inside a jail and I was doing my little readings and stuff and I seen me in my city. Fentanyl was hitting bad because they was lacing, um, they was lacing drugs with, with fentanyl. I don't even know what fentanyl is, fentanyl is. But in the Holy Spirit, God reveals all to you. You simply just have to ask, have your heart open, and be ready. Because some of the things that you receive, they're, they're not going to be they're not gonna be sugar-coated. And they're not going to be um, what you think they are. And I received that, that bit of information. And I would simply say, just watch what you're smoking and who you're smoking with, and who, and whoever's rolling it, what they, what they rolling. Like, watch who, watch who's rolling, watch what you smoke. Can I go back to the other one? Or no? Again, I do not own any copyrights to any music that you may hear on this channel. I love music, so if you don't, maybe this channel is not for you. And that is not it. I don't know what that is. Somebody just took the beat and told me what the word is. But yeah, no regret uh, smoking. Somebody might have just been released from prison, or they get released. They was um, they have a mentality of being state property. I remember when I first seen that movie, I didn't understand what it was, but 
nobody's property but God's. Let me say that. But somebody just uh, did a bit, they had time in prison, and now you're having to check everything. You're trying to get a job, you're increasing your, um, your finances, and God's simply calling you just to know yourself, know who you are. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Happy days. Just know who you are because God's going to give you everything you need. What else you need to know? This is for the divine masculine. So you worried about if your girl was cheating while you was locked down? It, I'm going to tell you this. It matters, but it should matter to you right now. Whoever this is, it shouldn't even matter simply because who you are in the now is way more yeah, it's, it's way more past who you were um, before you went in. And it's actually some evidence. So this could be somebody that was dealing with a case. You may have even been locked down for, um, I won't say the whole reason, but she was locked down, right? And now there's evidence that this wasn't even you. So it could have been a rape. Somebody was falsely accused of a raper, and evidence is showing that it wasn't even you. And you can right get some money. Somebody has to pay you for this. What I will say is don't be spiteful, vindictive, hateful, or bitter. Know that God took you away for a reason. When I did my own my own time behind bars. For false accusations, I literally had time to see that God took me away. If I wasn't behind bars, maybe something different would have happened in my life. But you was touched for a reason. What is this? Yeah. The government's going to have to pay you. Somebody had literally lied on you and said you did this. It might have been an officer or something. Yeah. And what this was, was oh, okay. this was a robbery or a theft. Um... And it could have been a potential rape. Thank you, Mr. Spirit. Give me messages for this divine masculine. Yeah, you might have um, her. You got her. I said you might have her. But dreads of braids. And you was locked down for a rape or something that you did not do. And now it's coming out that you didn't do this. Uh, because of DNA evidence that was found on some sheets. Um, it could have been somebody that was dressed up as somebody, but they wasn't that person. This is crazy. Are you serious? So somebody was, basically your life, part of your life was stolen. Don't be bitter about it. Know that God touched you away and you was accused of a rape that you didn't even do. And this was actually part of a spell. What? Seriously? I learned not to doubt my guys because they be on point. Like, somebody was blamed for something they didn't do. Somebody claimed you raped them, but you didn't. You spent some time behind bars. And somebody's about to have to pay you for this. That's what God's getting ready to do. Judgment. It's judgment time. It's judgment season. Give me messages for this divine master or divine feminine. It can go either way um, with the energy. Yeah, it was a lie. Somebody from a child was probably going, okay. So someone from from um, from childhood may have even heard certain things. Um, I don't know why, but this caused you to either give up or just let them put you in 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 this prison system for a rape that you didn't even commit. And now that it's coming out that it wasn't even you, you're trying to figure out what to do with your life. And I'm telling you, give it to God. Um, enjoy it. Um, stay true to yourself.
but this is last what they did. And it's also an experiment. I keep hearing experiment. So imagine a sick experiment where you place an individual inside of a box or inside of a jail cell just to see if they can make it or not. It's survival of the fittest and you made it. And they're going to have to pay you because you did not rape who this was or you did not I heard murder. You did not murder who this was. It was... Oh, yeah, so it could have been a stripper involved. Whoever this chick was, if she wasn't a stripper, she could have been um, maybe a sex worker. But it was a sex worker or a stripper that was murdered. And you was blamed for it and didn't even do it. I'll be damned. That's judgment. You're not even like this. You're a totally different person now. And even if you was a little, you know, this is not even who you are. Yeah, it was also a fake friend here that might have even signed a paper against you. So I'm hearing that maybe you might have been with a person. It could have been your alibi. They signed that you wasn't. This was all for money for um, her closed case, to rush a closed case. What else are this spirit? Thank you, Amazon. Whoever this is, you used to hear what is going on. It's not fake friends. Somebody signed papers on you, but it was lies. Yeah. Um, whoever this person was was probably under the influence of drugs that was supposedly raped or um, if they was murdered they might even be eating some type of chicken but someone might have been slipping that drink they might have even been the person that was the initiator you might have left them but you didn't do this to this person. They might have been found behind a dumpster um, in a dark alley. But once again, you didn't do this to this person. And somebody, I keep hearing rushed. So the case was rushed. Someone wanted to blame you so bad to get this case closed. But you are innocent. Our glory be to God. You was innocent. And now they're going to have to pay you for these false charges. And I would say once you win this lawsuit, move out of the state that you are in. Because they literally... I'm hearing somebody's following you in a truck. Well, you want to buy a truck. Yeah. Once again, thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you. Um, somebody's following you in the truck, or they're going to be following you in the truck, because after you win this lawsuit, you basically enemy of the state. Enemy of the state could be even the police is paying informants to work against you, to try to get you to do drugs or do anything to get you back in the system to where the state don't have to pay you no money. Y'all honorary. Yeah, you have arch enemies. So, this is a warning for somebody. You can already win this case and be innocent. Um, I send love, light, and blessings, protection to you.